In David Class's young adult, contemporary novel Losers, Take All, 2015, a group of friends embarks on an unconventional journey that turns their high school sports-obsessed culture on its head. The novel garnered positive reception upon its release and earned a nomination for the 2017 Missouri Gateway Readers Award. Class, known for both his novels and his work as a Hollywood screenwriter, once preferred sports over reading. While at Yale University, he secured the Veatch Award for Best Imaginative Writing. The story revolves around Jack Logan, a teenager who staunchly despises participating in sports. This perspective sets him apart from his family, particularly his father, a local football legend named the Logan Express. Amid a family of sports enthusiasts, Jack feels like the outlier, valuing independence over athletic prowess. Despite his speed, he remains indifferent to sports. Attending Freeman High, a sports-centric school in New Jersey, Jack is determined to carve his own path, one devoid of athletic endeavors. His friends share his sentiment, and together, they navigate the sidelines in a united front. However, the sudden demise of the school's principal during a record-breaking athletic feat deepens the local obsession with sports. Enter Mr. Maldinger, the new principal and a symbol of the school's athletic fervor. As the football team's coach and an ardent advocate for sports, he also holds a role in the non-teaching audiovisual department. His arrival intensifies the school's fixation on athletic achievement, as many believe he is the answer to their needs. Amid this shift, Jack finds himself facing an unexpected challenge when Mr. Muldinger implements a new policy mandating that every senior join a sports team. Given his speed, Jack is roped into the varsity football team, a situation he adamantly opposes. As Jack navigates this unfamiliar territory, he and his friends embark on a mission to defy the norms, challenge expectations, and stand their ground against the prevailing sports culture. In need of a speedy player to complete their roster, the football team selects Jack. His family swells with pride over his selection, while Jack is aghast, deeming it an unfair turn of events. Despite his protests falling on deaf ears, Jack's school friends empathize with his predicament. Encouraging him to give it a shot, they agree the situation is undeniably unjust. Swallowing his resentment, Jack attempts a football tryout but ends up with a broken tooth after the first attempt. The incident serves as the last straw, prompting Jack to walk away from the football field. Determined to chart his own course, Jack decides that if he's destined to partake in sports, he'll create his own team, a concept that isn't against the rules. Rallying his friends around his idea, they establish the sea soccer team. Even his girlfriend Beckett joins in. They enlist Mr. Percy, a history teacher with a disdain for sports, to be their coach. The team is a motley crew of individuals either inept at sports or vehemently avoiding them. Mr. Percy comprehends their frustrations. Jack takes on the role of captain, a choice that unsurprisingly doesn't sit well with his family. When the team takes the field, chaos ensues. Players stumble and fumble, with the goalie even dozing off in the net. Observing their less-than-serious approach, Mr. Muldinger senses their antics and is incensed. But Jack and his friends find amusement in their performance. To their surprise, they aren't alone. A video of their hilariously disastrous football match makes its way onto social media, drawing the attention of both the high school sports stars and those who've struggled with sports. The situation becomes divisive, some students are irate that Jack and his team, now known as the Losers, are openly ridiculing the sacredness of sports and the prestige of the school's football teams. On the flip side, others question the imposition of sports participation altogether, standing up for students who feel out of place. Jack's father reacts with indignation. The prospect that his son is tarnishing the school's reputation, especially given his considerable athletic potential, deeply troubles him. For a while, the pressure nearly sways Jack to reconsider his team's approach, but he refuses to compromise his principles simply to win his father's approval. Ahead of their upcoming match, one of the players, Rob, falls victim to a severe beating. The incident is caught on camera, with the attackers resembling players from the A-team. The incident draws more attention, sparking outrage among students across the school. As the next game approaches, the losers have amassed a following of their own supporters, eager to witness their performance. The momentum behind the losers continues to build, and they face off against Linton High, a local team boasting an undefeated record. With college scouts present, it's the season's most significant match. 
The losers harbor no grand expectations, but Jack's exceptional skills prompt many to believe in their potential victory. While Mr. Muldinger sees that the spotlight shifting from his team to the losers, his hands are tied. In the end, the losers manage to tie the match against Linton High. Jack captures the attention of a scout, and his father openly expresses his pride in Jack's achievements. As Jack embarks on his college journey, he leaves behind a legacy akin to his father's, albeit one that's universally relatable and inspirational. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.